Hello. We got four new helmets with the release of the Forgotten Kingdom. We got the True Crimson Crown, Bloodless Crown, Mudtooth's Hat, and the Dandy Topper. In order to get Mudtooth's Hat, all you have to do is head over to Mudtooth and exhaust all of his new dialogue, and you'll be rewarded with it, as seen in the following clips. There you go, there's Mudtooth's hat. Next up is the Dandy Topper. This one requires you to go back to the Awakened King. It's the first DLC over in Losom. And you have to go to where the dude is giving his speech to all the Dran, people in the village. And you want to shoot it off the top of his head. So use a sniper rifle, use the M4. You'll see us accomplishing this in the following clip. Bam! Did you get Next up is the Bloodless Clown. Clown? Crown. The Bloodless Crown. Whew. This is located in the new Goddess's Rest dungeon. You don't have to run the Forbidden or the Forgotten Kingdom map. Any Yesha map has a chance to spawn this dungeon. But it's located at the end of the dungeon after you open up the temple with the five pillars, as seen in this clip here. And then this is the crown. FYI, if you interact with that dish um, that asks for an item to be put into it, it'll spawn a, an aberration. Also, that's the alternate ending for turning in the, the dust ball thingy. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> For clarification, the dust ball thingy is the thing that you grab that you take back to the final boss to cube the boss fight. But if you take it here instead, if you have this in the same playthrough, it doesn't always show up in the same playthrough, by the way, unless you're doing your first shot um, adventure mode. But if you get Goddess's Rest inside of the DLC, you can do the alternate alternate ending. But that's not the topic of this video. Speaking of un off topic, this is the Bloodless Crown, right? There's also a Bloodless Ring. I've tried to use both of these in conjunction of one another to see if it does anything. Because if you remember, we had the Loadsome Crown and the Loadsome Ring from the base game. And the Loadsome Crown illuminates things, and there's a bunch of myths out there about what it does. It doesn't do anything besides illuminate things. It doesn't show hidden walls. But if you wear the ring, you get extra damage against illuminated targets. I was hoping there was some kind of hidden thing, something. We wore this combo through the whole playthrough and couldn't trigger any alternate anything, so... I don't think there's any correlation besides the name. Lastly is the True Crimson Crown. This, if you go back to Namue, Nimue, uh, in the base game, so you go to uh, any of the Losom playthroughs, the Moro Parish or the Palace, and you go down to Namue, she will now accept the Crimson Shroud. I think that's the name of it. If you have the Crimson Armor set that I'm wearing now, she'll take the helmet piece and your Red Prince Crown and combine them together to make this. Now, it removes both of those items from your inventory. You can go back and kill the Red Prince with your Assassin's Dagger to get the crown again, or the, the crown of the Red Prince. You cannot currently go back in the DLC, The Awakened King, and do the whole process to get the Crimson Outfit again to replace the helmet. Every other outfit in the game you can get again, and it gives you scrap, a lot of scrap. This one is not giving you anything, so I feel like it's a bug and it'll get patched and you'll be able to go back eventually and, and get it. But if you're trying to collect everything, right now you cannot go back and get the original Crimson Shroud helmet. Just as a FYI. And if you're wondering how to get the Crimson outfit, it's from the previous DLC. I did not cover it. I don't have a video on it. I'll link a, a someone else's video, a short quick one, up in one of the corners. And you can go watch their video on how to get it if you don't know how. So there you go. Four new helmets. Side note, I'm streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Gumby in the late nights, 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's West Coast United States. We play lots of games currently, obviously Remnant. As of this recording, Timid and I are working on our 
hardcore completion run. We're almost done. We'll see if we can complete it tonight. Maybe. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm out. See you in the next one. Bye-bye now.